you know, shocking, there it goes. Shocking, people. Shocking, shocking, people. shocking. When shocking. When you do that to Scotty McClure, uh, how I'll can tell you, you do that to you, Scotty McClure? Oh, they've done terrible things yeah, to Scotty McClure. Yeah, very important, man. Yeah, it's very important indeed. That's why. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so there you go. All right, my love. Lovely to hear you. And we'll see Dinky do. Yes, and we'll say hi, hi to that man. Uh, so there you go, that man. To the telephones as quickly as possible. You're listening to Scott McLeod's Nightline. We're live across Glasgow and West Central Scotland on the big one. Nation Radio, just for you. Scotty McClue, back with you after this. Have you ever lost money on an investment? If a high street bank persuaded you to buy a stocks and shares ISA, unit trust or investment bond and you lost money, Goodwin Barrett can help you get back thousands of pounds in compensation. Even if you don't have the investment anymore or the paperwork, Goodwin Barrett make it easy to find out. Text money to double six treble seven. That's money to double six treble seven. You don't need a claims management company to make a complaint, and if unsuccessful, you can refer it free to the financial ombudsman. You'll take care of her, won't you? She's been with us for years. And you'll call, you know, if there's a problem. Don't worry, she's in safe hands. At Clydesdale Classic Cars, we love classic cars as much as you do. We restore, service and repair all makes and models, providing quality workmanship at an affordable price. Don't trust your pride and joy to anyone else. See ClydesdaleClassicCars.co.uk Keeping classics alive. Live across Glasgow and the West, this is Scotty McClue's Nightline on Nation Radio. Call Scotty now on 0141 811 0475. Don't forget the house rules. No offensive language or you'll get a lifetime ban. Oh, lifetime ban, and we don't want that again, do we? So there we are. Uh, you're listening to Scotty McClure, live on Nation Radio, first lord of the internet, world's top broadcaster. This is the big one. I'm just checking the station clock, and it's telling me it's two minutes past 11, or uh, 23.02 in new money. Back to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's Sparkle, Scotty. How are you? Sparkle? But it's Sparkle, I've been stalking you like Fabulous. I can't even say the word. I've We're like a stalker. So- I've been all over your social Scotty because I'm actually taking palpitations right now. My heart's going ten to the dozen. Oh, back in the nineties I was your number one fan. I used yeah. to phone in. We won't see the name of the competition, but no. I phone in. Nightly, and let me tell you this: I can't believe I'm through here tonight because it was a war zone back then, Scotty. You had it to was. get your battle boots on to call through. It oh, was I. wild. It was wild. It was fabulous. And it was too much for the other radio stations, so they made so much noise that uh, Scott FM, I think, finally just threw in the towel. Well, what is wrong with Scott FM? I'm absolutely raging at them. Because you disappeared, you were on it at this time of night, it was all go. And That's it. was rushing home to get it. It was Massive. wild, so you all were listening, you couldn't wait to get through. You would sit for hours, two phones in the door. <laughs> I mean, these are, these, the phones were plugged into the wall, Scott. You weren't walking about back then. No, you weren't walking about, and there was no the internet, there was no computers, none of that. Nothing, there was nothing else. You were that. You were the man. Scotty McClure was the man for Central Scotland. <laughs> the patter was electric. He was knocking all the part of the jokes were wild. My house got tanned last night. What happened? I left the, left the sunbed on. That's and right. That's it. It. All Rapid. that stuff. <laughs> Rapid. Well, Rapid fire humour. And do you know that we had 460,000 calls one week? It was unbelievable, and I mean, I could believe it was probably more because you couldn't get through, Scotty. The amount of people didn't get through would have been triple that. See, see, see. The funniest one was when we were just getting the calls on and off, and a guy comes on. He goes, "Hello, Scotty. My name's John." I says, "Thanks for that, John." This is Mary. (laughs) All right, and we're moving on. Anyway, the next thing is his wife phones two hours later. And she goes, Scotty, my husband phoned and all he got to say was, my name's John. I says, I thought that's what he was ringing to tell us. (laughs) 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 We love it. (laughs) 
Oh, wow. Well, do Fantastic. You know and and it, it, sh it, should, it should come back. It needs somebody with a lot of common sense to actually say, do you know what? We need to get Scotty back on that platform big style. It you know has what I mean? to happen. It has to happen. You know, I mean, it, it happened before and it can happen again. And it's the telly, the telly's the one as well. I don't know if you've seen, the, well, you say you've seen the Facebook Live. Oh, I've seen you today, you're tweeting Channel 4, make this right. happen. I know it is, it is, it would be the most refreshing thing that would happen in UK television, especially with all this break that carry on. Yes. Everybody like they're down in the dumps. It'd be perfect. It'd be perfect, you see, but they all panic. They all panic about it. There's nothing to panic about. It's just a great big laugh for the people of the UK when they're most needing it, you know? It's banter wars, that's all it is. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what would be good. I think if we just, uh, a talking head, you see, they're all sophisticated, all these television channels. They go, no, we buy these programs in. You say, look, never mind buying a program in. Put me on live on a Friday night for half an hour or something. And okay. let's get the phone calls in there and get the people that's telling amazing. us what they think. And none of all this that these phone programs do, like, thank you very much, Margaret from Birmingham says, and all that. Get them on there and get stuck in. That's it, big well. Get going. <laughs> get Release the hounds. <laughs> Release the hounds, exactly. And it's like these phone-ins and they go, hello, uh, what, the wizard or the, or the, or the, the lovable lassie um, takes their calls and goes, what's your point, caller? What do you want to say? Oh, I don't know that we could have that. I mean, you know what I mean? And you think, well, that's no good. That's no good to, for a proper discussion. You know? But back in the day, Scotty, I could see the point because there was four channels and people were strangled with advertisers and licenses yeah. and whatever. Now it's a free for all. So what we need to there. happen is, is go smaller on one of these yeah. madcap channels initially and yeah. then let the big boys see what they're missing. You know what I'm yeah. saying, Scotty? But I'll tell you, I'll tell you, my name's no pack drill. I got in touch with a guy that was running a, cha a new channel on television, right? And I said to him, as a Scotty McLean, oh yeah, so I think it'd have to be a no, Scotty. Um, we've got the um, we've got all the bases covered. Right, about two weeks later, yeah. that channel shut down. I good good. I thought that's some covering of the bases there, isn't it? <laughs> now, if they'd had Scotty McClure, they'd be boom time now. Well, that's it. They would have dug themselves out of that hole. He, I mean, really, yes. he was too busy fiddling expenses, Scotty. That was the problem. He didn't want no. anybody with any clue near the near the corporation. <laughs> so then, but, you know, he would catch him out, that old one. All that nonsense, oh, you know, that's what's all... So there it goes, but I mean, you can only take a horse to the water, but I just know it would be an absolute winner, you know, and the other thing, I, I think I said this on the social media, you know, I mean, I'm no great oil painting, do you know what I mean? But that's what I look like, and uh, if anybody's got a problem with Scotty McClure, then that's their problem. But you I think you're a handsome chap. I mean, look at oh, those teeth. Very kind of you. Look at a man. Look at a man at 30. He's got teeth like that in this day and age. They've all got their glasses and he's stuck. And they're, and they're, they're all 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 are the audience boring. interested? You know, boring. You know, we're getting... I watch these chat shows now. I watch these chat shows. No names, no pack drill. But they are so dull because they've got these people on, you know, and they're, they're plugging their book or their next thing or what have you. You know what I mean? <laughs> boring. Absolutely, absolutely. Because what interest is that to the people of central Scotland? People in Central Scotland are double wide for that kind of carry on. They're, they're not mega wide. They're, they're not watching it. They're not even watching it. I get, I get a shock. I get a shock when I mention a mainstream television company. People go, never watch it. I say, what? No, nobody does. <laughs> <laughs> is, a, is a swear word now in this country. Nobody can be bothered with it with their propaganda. We all will not get into the politics. But other than no, that, we'll not get into the politics, but... 
you should think about maybe even going there and in the politics side of things because we're needing a big boy but you look at the state all that's in as well I'm scunnered with a lot of them I'm absolutely done in with it and we've got a man like you sitting here giving them all I mean I heard you phoning in a couple of people giving them what for in 2015 about the carry on that was going down yes and that, yes. that should be happening again you know Yes, yes, and I, I was actually tipped to be running the Scottish Broadcasting, you see? Interesting. All right, well, okay. It, yes, and it never, it never, it never came to it's fruition a, at that point. It's a <laughs> You've been held back, you're not in the club, pal, this is the problem. Now, this is it, you see, I mean, I think, I think this is the problem, you know. They used to say, if your face doesn't fit, <laughs> oh, and you go, fit what? <laughs> Fit wet. <laughs> my face fits my bonnet. <laughs> I think it's one... because of back in the day you played that song on Culture Corner. Oh, Culture <laughs> Corner. Do you mind that? Don? Oh, Don was a belter. But th that was a mistake. That was a mistake because I just ran. I was running out the door and I thought, oh, quick, grab some for Culture Corner. I thought, that sounds a lovely wee ditty there, a wee, a wee ballad. I popped that on. <laughs> And and oh. you should have seen it. The the the, the lovable laddie, or the wizard, had a look at me. Oh. Just drew a face. He goes, "Did you hear?" I says, "I did." I says, "But they'll maybe no say it again." Well, did they know just? <laughs> you know, and that was it. So there you go. Oh dear, oh dear. You but but you see, well. the people of Scotland looked after me then, and they said, "Scotty says he didn't do it intentionally." I believe him. Correct. See. That's it. The people will bail you out, you know what I mean? As long as you're straight with them. The people behind you. The people yes. Here. I mean, I That's was the thing. a man in one of your YouTube uh, video comments underneath it today, and we ended up conversing in egg language, Scotty. I don't know if you know how to speak egg, that. The ego, okay. ego skego language. Egg, 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 egg. <laughs> so there we were. I mean, where else would you go on a YouTube channel and not find no. a fellow egg? I know it's just it's just it's crazy crazy stuff and that we that we YouTube that's got two hundred and forty four thousand. Excellent, uh, you're doing well. I mean, come on, what's going on there? You know, what I mean, what, why are these people not recognising these numbers? I know it's it's very very strange. Do you want an audience or do you not? Kind of thing, you know. I mean, and this is why uh, I love Nation Radio, you know, because they just came along and said, right, you're due for us, chum. Hi, they're good. That's that. So, they their music like that. is outstanding. No, they're not daft, I'll tell you. That's the very last thing they are, you know. And and it's funny, they give me excuses. Like, I remember getting in touch with a guy at one of the big stations. He goes, oh, I'm uh, busy going through information at the moment. I'll come back to you. I thought, right, that's oh. three years. That's three years. I feel like <laughs> fun. I'm up going, have you gone through your information yet? Or are you still at it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I know it's all the right, and they're going. We're 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 trying to assess audience now. I could give you the audience for every station that's gone off the top of my head. You know, trying to assess audience. What on earth are they playing now? You know what I mean? <laughs> but it's not that you were running your own station at one point. Yes, yes, absolutely. Well, um, and we had a we had a stewardship problem. Otherwise, I still would have been. You know. Well, come on, if there's ever going to be a man that's going to know it, all to do with Scottish Radio, you're the man that's going to know it. I so, am the man. Do you know it's 30 years, uh, 30 years next year since I launched the third station in central Scotland? Congratulations, that's wonderful. 30, and it's still on <laughs> air and doing superb, you know, and people were going at it, ah, that'll no come to you, you know, all that. <laughs> I know. It's, and how did you get into it at first? Because I know you were doing the stuff on the telly. You were doing, was the, doing the stuff that. on the telly, and uh, a, a big boy that was uh, setting up stations got in touch, and he says, "I want you to come and uh, and do the same stuff that you do for me." And that was before we did the the phone ins, of course. Right. And then the phone-ins were very much, right, let's get on with this. You know, you used to have people on the phone every day trying to buy you. <laughs> Wild, isn't it? But one day, I'll tell you a lovely cool. thing. Wait till I tell you this. I got a call one day and somebody in the radio station said, that's your Uncle Jimmy on the phone for you, Scotty. 
I says, oh. Uncle Jimmy, and I was smart enough not to say I've no got an Uncle Jimmy. I thought, I wonder who it is. Somebody having a laugh. And I picked it up, <laughs> and it was a media mogul. Uh, oh, right. Posing as Uncle Jimmy, saying, uh, "You know, we need to talk." <laughs> oh, how wonderful is that! A media mogul on the phone, and Scotty McLean's Uncle Jimmy. He didn't he oh. want to spook everybody at the station by saying who it was, you know. <laughs> One in the fortune. That's your Uncle That's Jimmy on the phone for you, Scotty. That is still skills, isn't it, with Uncle Jimmy? <coughs> you know, and and, uh, and then when I picked up the call, he goes, don't say a word, uh, I'll tell you who it is. <laughs> we, we need to talk. <laughs> and then the other lovely one, which I've got to tell you, was a guy went to another media mogul and he says, can we afford to have Scotty McClure? And he goes, can we afford not to have Scotty McClure? That's the chat. He knows. <laughs> That guy, that guy didn't uh, well, they said that if Lou Grade, remember Lord Grade, if Lou Grade had been alive today, Scotty McClue would never be off your television screens. What about that? And who is this man? Lou Grade started ATV in Birmingham at the okay. same time as Lord Grade started, uh, Lord um, Bernstein started Granada Television in Manchester. And um, they had ATV, ATV it was, and a guy went in to see Lou Grade. This is how good this guy was. And he said um, he'd been round all the other stations and he said, I do wee puppet shows and blow them up and all that stuff. Okay. And everybody had said, nah, no interested in that. Lou Grade lit a big cigar and he goes, I'll take as much of this as you can give me. Thunderbirds, okay. Fireball XL5, right? Uh, mm -hmm. What was the one in a Sunday stingray? Captain Scarlet mm -hmm. and the Misterins, all these wee puppets, remember? All that. Yeah. Yeah, and that was that. In all the merch that he bought that. all that and all the merch, of wow. course, that went with it. And then the other one was a guy that came in to see him and uh, he'd been round other stations as well. And they were saying, What do you do? He goes, I do like glove puppets and all that. And they're going, Nah, it's not for us. Went in to see Lou, big cigar, I'll take as much of this as you can give me. The Muppets. The Muppets, stack mm -hmm. it high, get them. The Muppets, and um, and think of that, Miss Piggy, Kermit the Frog, the two old guys. You know, I mean, just fantastic well, the entertainment. Muppets are iconic. Of course, of course, and that was Lou Great for you. And uh, <coughs> he also uh, did a film. He backed a movie called Raise the Titanic, and he said it would have been cheaper to have um, shrunk the ocean. <laughs> you know, but he was also, I'll tell you what he was also, was um, ITC films, things like The oh, yeah. Baron, The Saint, mm -hmm. all that right. stuff, I that was him. Them, uh -huh. And he had uh, Roger Moore in one time because he was going to do The Persuaders and he had Tony Curtis, already signed up Tony Curtis, and he, he wanted to get Roger Moore to do The Persuaders. And Roger said that he was pretty maxed out and he was pretty tied up. And he says uh, he didn't think he could do it. And Lou says, Roger, just give me one moment. And he went to his desk drawer, took out oh. a cheque, brought it back to him and said, Roger, that's for starters. And he looked at the cheque. Roger Moore looked at the cheque and said, Lou, when does I start? <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was, these guys really did business, you know? We need to get this show on the road big time. Get this I show on the, the road, road, I say. But I'll tell you why, right? See when, I, see, when I was listening to it, it was at the early of my college days, and we were all wow. mad on it. And yeah. your patter shaped my personality. You can probably hear it in the way I talk. Your patter was electric, and we were all competing that much. Who's the best chat? It just escalated, and you shaped a full generation with that show. And people need to know that, and people need to understand that the youth is where the target is, and you can go in and scoop that yep. back up like you did back then. But they need yep. to give you the theory, and none of this mamby pamby nonsense. It has to be controversial. We've got to get in there and talk like it is, and they should have let me loose during all those Brexit stuff. Uh, why didn't they? Do you know? I mean, I'm, I'm looking at your tweets about all that and you are on the money, Scotty. I wish you were up there giving it straight for the lot of you. I swear to hell. Right, get I mean, on there because we're telling them not, straight. 
tell them straight. I don't know if you've seen all this Cambridge Analytica that's been going on in Scotland. Yes, before. seen all that, yeah. All these underhand tactics of propaganda that should only be used here in warfare, and that's yeah. what they're getting hurt with. We need well, a voice like yours to stand up for the people at this point. We've got to stand up and speak for the people, and it makes me laugh when people go, I, you don't speak for me, Scotty McClure. I say, I speak for everybody who doesn't have a voice. Correct. You know? Correct. And look at all the people that phone in. They love you, they adore you. And one question, Scotty, just before I go and alert one of you the other callers. Go on, my darling. Yes, yes absolutely. Hogging you're hogging it, you're hogging it. But it's been lovely of you because, because I've okay. actually never, ever, ever seriously had a call like this. Well, that, well, do you know what? See, the last time I phoned in, um, well, not well, it would have been the last time with my poem that I made up for you. I typed it into your live chat the other day you on did. your YouTube channel. Everybody subscribe to Scottish YouTube channel. It's phenomenal, the band. But um, you said the same to me back then. You said I've never had such a call. No, and I was like, that's I haven't. a lot. And th haven't. that wee bit of self-esteem, that carried me through my life. That wee bit of praise you gave me, Scotty, to thank you. Well, it's true. No, it's true. No, thank you, because it's fantastic. Because you never really know if anybody notices. Oh, massively. This is what I'm trying to explain to you. You were a subculture, a fully blown subculture. We were making our own Scotty McClure t-shirts. Everybody was running about with things with gloves on. It was mm -hmm. a massive thing. You controlled the 90s, but what I'm trying to explain is just now, see the kids of the 90s like myself, we're hitting <laughs> the midlife crisis stage. You know yes. that? You're coming up to the big photo. So we're all rattling and we're trying to find where you. This is how I rediscovered you because I was just looking it up. Because they shifted you onto some daytime show to try and shut you up. And then before you knew it, you were away down in Lancaster or something like that. That's right, away down to Manchester and down to yeah, Newcastle. We away. We, we lost you. Well, mm -hmm. that was it until I just found you recently because, it, you know what it's like, you're reflected in the youth 40 years that was I doing my 20s. Scotty McClure, here you are. So what I'm saying is we need to go back in and recapture that youth. You we do, because I'll tell you, we haven't even scratched the surface yet. No. And see, now the youth are very politically driven. I mean, yes. I don't know if you know the singer Jerry Sinn. I mean, he started off by singing a song at the Scottish Independence time. And now he's he's touring with Liam Gallagher in Australia, Scott McCoy. Fabulous. And it's Absolutely. all about singing. It just speaks the, the, the words of the youth. And you are that man. And you were yep. only pretending to be an old man back then. And you've maybe, you're still only pretending now we're doing all that. But what I'm saying is, I'm just a boy. I'm just a boy. We haven't scratched the surface. But I'll tell you something. I believe the big one is coming. Oh, I know it is. I know it is. The big one it's is coming definitely out. coming. Do you know what I mean, somebody switched on will spot it. And I think the, the country's at a point now that we need a break. Something has to give. Everybody's yes. tiptoeing about Mambi Pambi. There's too much laws coming out. Nobody knows. I mean, you're not get out. you're not getting more switched on than Nation Radio. They spotted it right away. They knew exactly what they were. And doing. the guy that hired me for Scott FM hired me for Nation Radio. There you go. Twenty five years there later. So they so there's there's somebody that knows exactly what they are doing. He knows exactly what he's all about. Well, I don't know if this. This slot's going to be the best slot to be getting. Yes. To be getting, and I think yes. a bit of advertising's going to be needing to get plugged in somewhere along the way. But you're doing a great job with your social, Scotty, um, and a great job for for um, Nation FM with the socials because you're always promoting the show, and that's how I got to you here. So well done in that. And on that note, I'll let some of your other callers come. To and listen, come. lots and lots of love to you. You're a, you're an icon of the 90s, and you're an icon <laughs> of today. Thank you, Scotty. It means a lot, and I shall be back. You I shall return. Oh, I found you again. You <laughs> shall return, my darling. Scotty. Do not lose touch with Scotty McClure and Dinky Doo. <laughs> ciao, ciao, Dinky Doo. Ciao, ciao, Angel. There we go. How amazing. Right to the telephones. 0141 811 0475. That might have sounded like a wee bit of indulgence there, but in actual fact, I've never had a call of that sort of calibre, somebody that spots the lot. 
Absolutely incredible. Oh, I feel quite exposed now, you see. Uh, Scotty McClure's Nightline, live on Nation Radio, the country's top radio station, the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is listening to, the most switched-on station on the planet, I say. We are very switched on at Nation Radio. To the telephones, 01418 75 Scotty McClure, back with you after this. You know what it's like. Monday arrives, you have the best intentions, but you're too busy and they're too busy. And before you know it, Monday rolls round again. Let the Kitchen Depot manage your new kitchen for you. Plumbing, building work, electrics, flooring, everything. The Kitchen Depot, where families go. The Kitchen Depot, in Hillington, East Kilbride, and Barton, Falkirk and Bishop Briggs, and now open in Greenock. Derek McIntyre. More music breakfast. Each weekday morning from 6am, I've got the best music to start your day. Travel news every half hour, the latest showbiz news, the mind masher and the 9 o'clock throwback. It's the way you want to wake up across Glasgow and the West. More music breakfast. With Clyde Shopping Centre. We've got it all right here. Whatever you have in mind. With over 100 stores under one roof. Scotty McClue's Nightline. 96.3 Nation Radio. Call Scotty now. 0141 811 0475. Nation, Nation Radio. Yes, indeed, you're listening to Scotty McClue. We're live on Nation Radio. That is the big one. Back to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Linda. Linda, my darling, how are you? Hi. Hi, when I asked Scotty, I've been that busy. Uh, my brother has been in the hospital. Oh no! Aye, but don't get me wrong. He's he's getting better. He's getting better. And that's how I've not been on the phone. No, you've had a tough time, Angel. Aye. But I'm glad you've rung me now. Aye. Yes. No, but, yes. But Scotty, I, I miss talking to you. I miss talking to you. Well, we miss I, hearing I, you. I, I know, I know, Scotty. Because you you're superb, you're superb. You're oh, superb. I like to hear everybody on, but that was I, an awful nice lady I, that she I, said some very nice things. I hope, as I say, it didn't sound too indulgent, but it was just very nice no, to hear no, her, you know? No, no, no. No, it was, it was, I... And she obviously has listened right from the start, from 1994, you know? <laughs> oh, way back, I know, way back. 1994. Back, Scotty, aye. <coughs> I I that, that's I, what makes I, me I, laugh. That teaches me back, Scotty. That teaches me back. 1994, Scotty FM. I know, aye. <laughs> aye. But I tell you, Scotty, you're brilliant, you're brilliant. Well, I think really it's all to do with just having a right good blether, isn't it? Aye, aye. Do you know what I mean? Like, a good I blether. A good chin uh, wag, and I think that that's uh, what folk forget. And everybody should be on the radio talking to Scotty McClure. Nobody no, should. should be. I don't want anybody thinking, oh, I'm not sure I could do that and all that stuff. Everyone can do it, you know what I mean? Aye. Uh, no, they all should be talking to you, Scotty, because yes. you're superb. You're superb. Get them on for the chit chat. That's what I say, Linda. It's aye, excellent. Aye, now, aye. listen. Uh, what about yourself? Are you keeping okay? I am keeping okay. It's just Good. my brother, but aye. we're trying to build his strength up. Good. We're trying to build his strength up. Get him back on track, and yes. it, it'll, it'll be it'll be wasn't a bit in the time. No time at all, my darling. Well, aye. remember, he comes no, from a very aye. a very good family. Aye. Oh, he does. He comes to. He's got. He's got seven children and five grandwings. Good lord! And he's got a lovely sister. Uh, I, I know. I know. That's I love him. Of course me you that. do. Of course you do. And yeah, that's why we're having him. Aha! He's my big brother. Uh, yes. Yes, we love that. Uh, that's what it's all about. But, Blood's but thicker Scotty, than water. Scotty, Scotty, what's his view like? What's his like? Ah, no, bless him, I know. But aye, listen, it's like. amazing. But All these things have aye, advanced a lot. No, he's, yeah, he's, he's wasn't about, he's wasn't about in his wheelchair. Good, good for you. Bit. Excellent. Yes, aye. keep him going. Build him up. That's what it's aye, all about. Aye. Excellent, Madonna. No, Scotty, no, listen. 
Scoy, we'll catch up Scoy, soon. I'll not keep, I'll not keep you long. No, you're I'll fine. You never to keep. It's lovely to hear you. All right, no, my darling. You look after yourself. I and thank you do. Dinky do angel. Right, to the telephones as quickly as possible. 0141811-0475. If you're on the line and ringing, then we'll get you as soon as possible. And um, I'm going to try and go straight to the calls so that I've got you there. You're live on Scotty's phone in on Nation Radio. Who's that? Mr. Jack Scott. Mr. Jack Scotty by. How's Mr. Jacks tonight? <laughs> I'm not dinky do. I'm not a happy chappy, Scotty. You're not a happy chappy. What's up with you? Spill. Well, the boy, the boys in the big house is cracking up. All right. Because your one night, because your one night stand, and the uh, and during the release, they're trying to get on the phones and they can't get through to you. And we're going to put a request through to you and ask for a request. You can go to another radio station get get the full week. <laughs> yeah, the full week. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. I thank yeah, Nation Radio. <laughs> the full I've got week. Phone, me, yeah. I've right, Mr. Jackson. I was on the phone for about half an hour. I get switched off. I get switched off. No, it was just crazy, crazy last week. That's why we thought this week, let's try a slightly oh. different tack and see if we can get people to oh. air. You know what I mean? Because everybody's, the everybody's been doing the nut. Everybody's been doing the nut, Mister Jacks. We've had some well, well, weekend. They're all going. You can't even get through your phone in. You know, and it's as Scott, if there's you're something you're wrong. <laughs> what? It's as if there's something Scott, wrong. Well, they're blaming me for not getting through the phone, and I go, "That's because people are loving the program." What's in Scotty? You hear me? Aye. I was up at the big house getting a visit and the boys just smashed all the tables and beds up because they can't, <laughs> get, they can't hear you no more. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth, Scotty. I'm out the window shouting. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. I went bed to... New... <coughs> go, on, go on, Mr. Jets. Go on, go on tell, I'll tell you this in a minute. Ah, uh, well, you carry on, Scotty. No, 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 I was just going to say, I was just going to say, at the time when there was a riot in Manchester, I was attending a dinner. And they had a boy for yeah. the person speaking, you know, right. and uh, um, he says, uh, oh, no, he says, you get three square meals a day and a roof under your feet. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> ah, well, look at it. Scotty, I'll tell you the truth, I was not a happy chap. I actually went and hopped you in my phone for the... I never phoned well, you the last year. I'm not phoning this man again. I you were in a cream puff. That. You were in a cream puff. I can't I understand. I'll admit it. Even the well, that's fine, Mr. Are. Jacks. You're a good straight talker. We like that. Well, listen, the laughing policeman is finished. I know I'm not doing that anymore. You're not doing that anymore. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, hey, Scotty. Oh, Mr. Jacks. Scotty, you get smelly feet. Uh, hello? <laughs> Scotty, you get smelly feet. Why? Can you smell them? <laughs> I don't know. I can't anyway. Listen, eh. Uh, it's like, I'm, I'm very sad, no sad, I'm very, uh, a wee bit perturbed about my friend, uh, mm. I hope she gets well, the wee Oh problem. yes, ah, wee Linda, yes, no, absolutely, ah, no, no, she... I heard that, I, I heard you that, heard that Anna on, on. Anna, Anna was on, yes, it was lovely, we, we like yeah, to hear Anna. Yeah, uh, I see, uh, I see wee Jean's back. Jean's back with us, so that all is well there, ah, that I was rather that. good. Yes, that was nice to hear that, and David yes. is back giving a song. David's back giving us a wee song, a wee, uh, a wee tribute. Man, he's not a bad channel, by the way, the guy. And we went to Houston, he was good. I think he might I've be a black belt in karaoke. No, I've actually done it for the Cordy that I'm going to go and sell it. Good for you. <laughs> 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 Scotty, I'll let the callers go on. Mr. Jacks, always banner. lovely to hear you, Lala. La, and well, you no, take I'll great care of yourself. Left, see, before you go, I've fun of you in the library. Great, great flyers, Bobby. And I oh, great flyers, Bobby. Sad. Yes, it is very Aye, sad. I'll, I'll talk. Yeah. I'll jock Look and Mr. Trail, jump. Mr. Trail that was that ran the um, the, the cemetery. Aye, Aye the Edinburgh. And, uh, it's a lovely beast. A lovely beast. I read it all through. We sky terrier. He was a wee sky terrier. Aye, well you will Aye. be. You'll become a book one listener to me. <laughs> oh no, I can do that. I'm starting to do it, Scotty. I need. <laughs> You'll have to well, read while Scott, you're reading like to come on. To hear you, Scotty. <laughs> No, no, Mr. Jacks. Get away with you. Get away with you. See you, Lala. Listen, Scotty, see you before I go. Before I go, please, please, listen. Scotty, listen, I'm not going on here. Look, I share the big boss must realise that 
It's not everybody that wants you loving to lo uh, love songs all day. Surely six hours as a, as could be could be reinstated in this radio station because the people in Scotland and the people who love you, Scotty, are not getting enough of you, and it's sad. It's a sad you case, and I'm putting my case across. You need to do something. Need to do something. Need to me. need to lobby the big boss from Mr. Jacks. Yeah. Well, well, Scott, you need you need to get him in a wee room and tell him what I'm, I'm I know, as long as he doesn't chase me, think you do. <laughs> right, to your telephones as quickly as possible, Nation Radio, just for you. That is the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is listening to. Back to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's Colin the Warhorse again. Colin the War Horse, I'll move on. Right, that's Colin the War Horse. He's uh, attending to he's attending a function. <laughs> to your telephones as quickly as possible. 0141 811 0475. Fast becoming the best known telephone number in the country out with the emergency services. Scotty McClue's nightline just for you on Nation Radio. Dinky do. Back I go to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello? Right, OK, if you're not there when I call your name, well, I won't be calling your name because I'm just seeing you live on Scotty's phone in, then I have to move on. We are far too busy for that. We are stout out the door and we are stamp it through. Scotty McClue back with you after this. Dinky do. You'll take care of her, won't you? She's been with us for years. And you'll call, you know, if there's a problem. Don't worry, she's in safe hands. <laughs> At Clydesdale Classic Cars, we love classic cars as much as you do. We restore, service and repair all makes and models, providing quality workmanship at an affordable price. Don't trust your pride and joy to anyone else. See ClydesdaleClassicCars.co.uk Keeping classics alive. You know what it's like. Monday arrives, you have the best intentions, but you're too busy and... They're too busy. And before you know it, Monday rolls round again. Let the Kitchen Depot manage your new kitchen for you. Plumbing, building work, electrics, flooring, everything. The Kitchen Depot, where families go. The Kitchen Depot, in the Hillington, East Kilbride, Dumbarton, Falkirk and Bishop Briggs, and now open in Greenock. <laughs> Scotty McClue's Nightline. Nightline. Scotty McClue's Nightline. Nation. Nation Radio. Yes, absolutely. Dinky do. Scotty McClue on Nation Radio just for you. Now then, um, I'm just... Um, I'm just responding to somebody on Facebook there. I hope you're all enjoying the show. And get yourselves on to Scotty McClure's Facebook. Get yourself on to Nation Radio's Facebook. Um, very, very important. And click like. So there we are. Um, I was trying to think. I've just seen an ultrasound there. And I was putting on all the wonderful things that uh, Scotland had done for the world and uh, of course there we are and uh, uh, absolutely tremendous ultrasound was another one so if you can think of all the different things that scotland's done for the world do come on and tell me 0141 811 0475 0141 uh, back i go to the telephone see if they're there now hello you're live on scotty's phone in yes scotty how are you lala hello lala who is hello, that hello lala it's Who's Mary, that? darling. Oh, it's Mary, Mary, my darling. darling. Thank you, uh -huh. do. Lovely to hear you. Thank you, do. <laughs> yes. La la. La la. You like that, la, don't la, you, la Yeah. <laughs> was seen it then, there, yeah. I said, uh huh. I heard you earlier. You know, you speak to that wee man. Can't remember his uh, name. Mr. Jax. Yes, Mr. Jax. Yes. The, 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 oh, the guy with the. Guy. With the he's, he's got a lovely guy. laugh. He's got a lovely laugh, Mary. He's got a gorgeous laugh, just like you have. He's got a lovely laugh, and he cheers us all up, Mr. Jacks. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, he does. 
Mama, darling, how have you been? Are you all right? I've not been so. I've not been. I've not been. I've not been. I've not been a great, but I'm all right. Yes, no, I'm all, you're right, all right. Thank you're, you're, thank you're you dealing do, with yes. it. You're dealing with it, Dinky. Yes, uh, that's fantastic. Yes, and then uh, you see, we've got La La, and then we've got a single La. Uh, you know, this is uh, this is do, 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 la, la. So, so La, yes, we, we've did, got I, La La as well, La La. <laughs> I knew I knew a guy, Mary. I knew a guy, and he was telling me we were talking about what you call your grandparents. So you've mm -hmm. got uh, grandfather and grandmother. Yeah. You've got yeah. grandma and grandpa. Uh -huh. You've got granny and gramps. Papa. You've got you've got papa and and mama. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and I said, yeah. "What do you call them?" And he goes, "Nana and Lala." <laughs> so his grandpa was Lala. Do you know what I mean? Oh. So I quite liked that. I thought I quite like that yeah, for people when they go, "Yes, what is it you're wanting, Grandpa?" And do you remember? <laughs> maybe you're too young for Dixon of Dot Green. Yes. Yeah. You don't remember Dixon of Dot Green. No, darling, I don't. No, the polis on a Saturday night. And what, this was a, <laughs> and, 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 and oh, I was, no, it was the polis. It was an old actor called Jack Warner. And yeah, he was right. absolutely fabulous. And he used to play Sergeant Dixon. Okay, yeah. And um, he would, what would happen is he would come on and introduce himself with his policeman's helmet. Right, uh, yeah. and uh, I think he was knocking on at the time. He'd probably in the polis have been retired, but he's knocking on a bit the time. But he would have his policeman's helmet on, and he would say, um, "Tonight we're going to tell you a story of some uh, bad lads who really took the wrong turning." Right, uh, so uh, then it yeah. would go into the drama, which I think would be filmed live probably. Then at the end of it, he would he would pop up again, and he would go, and of course. He got his desserts and was put away for a very long time indeed. Yeah. Good night, all. Oh. You know, and it just it just tells us that crime doesn't pay. And he would salute, yeah. and then, then the tune would go, ran da 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 di 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 like that. You see, Dixon mm -hmm. of Doc Green, and they used Dixon to call Dixon each Dixon. other in London. They called people meat was one, and yeah, the other okay. was dad for an older man. So uh -huh. they'd sort of say, shut yeah. up, dad. You know, when they were, you know, all that stuff was a wee bit of drama. Yeah. And they had uh -huh. they had an older policeman that'd go, drama. shut up, dad. It's all drama. Oh, so they called him dad. You know, and then another yeah. thing that they filmed live was armchair theatre. Uh-huh. On yeah, a Saturday night, and that was all filmed live, you know, these things. And Z that? Cars. There was another police yeah, programme yeah. called Z Cars. Z Cars, yeah. Z Cars. And it had a tune that goes da 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 and, uh, you know, and you used to get the police on it going, doing their stuff. Mm -hmm. And there was a Scots actor on it called Joe Brady, who played uh, a, Joe a Brady, constable actually, called Jock. He played Wee Jock. Jock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's wee Jock, Joe Brady. Oh, they were brilliant. Jock. Roddy McMillan. Oh, I know. You know, I is. saw Roddy McMillan in a movie yesterday. Roddy yeah. McMillan. Aye. Yeah, yes, he, right. he was the captain Aye. of the Vital Spark. Uh-huh. Roddy right, McMillan. Right, yes. He was good. And I saw him in a I saw him yeah. in a movie yesterday with uh, Stan, Stanley Stanley Baker. What was the movie called? I was watching it. It was a black and white movie. Right, and, what was it called? Um, and what was it called? Sorry. Just wait a wee minute till I get the name of it. Oh, yeah, I can't, I can't mind. Remember. It was a black oh, and white yeah. movie, no, I can't mind. And it was on yeah. one of the channels yesterday and just sometimes yeah, on a Saturday it? afternoon, if I've been oh. working too hard, I'll sit down and just put oh. the telly on, you know what I mean? I and sometimes you get you get a wee gem, you know what I mean? You're like, oh it's a wee yeah. gem that brilliant uh, and it was yeah. Stanley Baker that was in it and everything uh -huh. <laughs> uh, and they were trying to it was 1962 yeah. and they were trying mm -hmm. to nick some YouTube? money right. they were trying yeah. to nick some money it was one of these farces you know what I mean mm -hmm. uh, and they were trying to nick some money from the army pay corps <laughs> oh, well, sounds good anyway. Yeah. That was always oh, great. Good? Did stuff you enjoy it? Did you oh, enjoy I loved, that? Ev loved every second of it. Did you oh, like that? <laughs> Who was it used to say? Did you like that? Do you remember? Yeah, um, 
Did you? Oh, can you remember? Did, yes. Did I you remember. like that? Oh, I'll tell you who it was. Did you like Fred, that? Was it not Fred the bus or Dibner. something? No, it was Fred Dibner, the steeple jack. Fred. Right. Fred Dibner, and he was blowing up chimneys. Well, he wasn't blowing right. them up. He was he was chimney demolishing chimney. them. He was chimney. Yeah. Well, no big chimneys in Lancashire. Great big factory chimneys. He oh, was right. responsible for taking them down. Oh, was he? Aye, and he was brilliant, oh, well, well. and he used to do it so cleverly. And one landed, they'd moved all the people out their hussies in case the chimney right. fell, fell the wrong way. You know these great oh, big dear. mill chimneys? Anyway, one of them down, and it, it just fell down perfectly. And uh, Fred goes, did you like that? That's right, did you like that? Did you like that? Did, did you like, like that? <laughs> and he, he'd I actually did knocked did it did uh, He'd done it care. himself. No, no, you're absolutely uh, fine. I was trying to think yeah, what no. was the name of that show I saw yesterday. It was brilliant. It's all right, darling. No, I'll no, but I'd like again. to tell you. Because it was, in, it was in all sorts of stuff. Aye. I'd love to tell you. It was, it was a 1960. I'm, I'm a black and white movies, you know. Do, 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 do you like your black and white movies? Black and white movies. Do you yes, like your black and white movies? Yes. Aye, well, this one was on. Now, wait, so you Is maybe have seen it. did you say? Only a just. I just saw it yesterday. I just saw it. And I don't yes, even so mind the channel. Saturday afternoon, but yes. I, I, I'm channel. trying to think. Yeah, I'm trying to think what the channel was. But oh. I wish I could. I wish I could get the name oh, of this sorry, one. Sorry, can't remember. Oh, sorry. it'll come back to me. It'll I'll come wait, back I'll to me. Saturday, I didn't watch one. I know you know. No, it'll come back to me. I'm sure it will. It was yeah. fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> 1962. <laughs> it was a black yeah. and white. Uh huh. It was a black and white film from 1962, so there we go. Yes. And it was Ronnie about... Uh, Ronnie McMillan, uh, no. Roddy, Roddy McMillan like was in it. Too. Fabulous, fabulous stuff. Yes, I know. Very good. And, and I'll tell you another man that I worked with, lovely man, Walter yes. Carr. Walter Carr, right? Walter Carr. Yes. Walter Carr was the mate on The Vital Spark. And right. he was also did a lot of feed work with Lex McLean. Right. You'd be too yeah. young. A Prize of yeah. Arms. A Prize Sorry? of Arms was the name of Is the that movie. Name of it? Yes, and a it's a 1962 arms? movie. A Prize of Arms. Oh, all right. What was that about, Scott, then? Prize of, they were trying to steal um, the pay. Uh, the, the, they were trying to steal the wages from the army. Oh. Right, and it was really? on yesterday afternoon. A Prize of Arms. Oh, yeah. 1962. Oh, well. And it was a cracking movie. Because well, they had these fabulous... Well, they had all these fabulous actors in it. You know what I mean? Yes, exactly. See, once you put fabulous... See, Dad's Army, right? Yeah, Dad's oh, Army. Dad's Army. Oh, my goodness, everybody yeah. loves Dad's Army. Now, Dad's Army is actually nothing about the army or the war, really. No. It's actually mm -hmm. just some very talented actors having okay. a laugh. You know? I mean, you've got people like John Le Measurer, John Le Measurier, yeah. however you pronounce yeah. it. You've got people Sydney like... Sidney James. Um, Sydney James. Sydney well, Sydney James. James wasn't he in Dad's Army, was he? No, that's but, I think not but the but he was a, sorry. No. But he, he was another great actor, Reg Vardy. Yes. Uh, uh, you know, Reg Vardy. He was, uh, he was on the buses. Reg Vardy. Michael right Robbins. Then. Michael yeah. Robbins was another one on, yeah, on, on the buses. Right. His wife, Olive, and all that stuff, you know? Uh -huh. oh, I mean, these were, these were talented. Oh, you said that, that. But, I mean, um, who, who had you got? Arthur Lowe, Clive Arthur, Dunn, yes, aye. you know, all uh -huh. James Beck, uh, all these fantastic right, actors. Uh, James Beck, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, John yeah, James Pertwee. Was was that, sorry, that Bill the guy Pertwee. Yeah, the wee guy with the glasses yeah. was... Uh, yeah. No, no, uh, Arthur Lowe. Arthur Lowe Arthur was Lowe, the wee guy right. with the glasses. Yeah, and Clive Dunn. The glasses, right? Clive Dunn that played uh, Corporal Jones that was always late oh, coming to attention. Some, oh, some, I saw that. I saw that, Scotty, do you know that? Yes, and John I Laurie, old Jen Laurie, the Scottish actor. I was a wee girl. I was a wee girl when I used to watch that with my family and my think. daddy and all that. And do you remember John Laurie used to go... Um, he was always going, we're all doomed, doomed. <laughs> <laughs> we're all doomed, that's right. We're all doomed. And he goes into, he oh, goes into, 
it goes into Clive. Clive Dunn was playing Jones the Butcher, and John Molly uh-huh. goes into Jones the Butcher. Goes, can I get my corn beef? Can I get my corn beef? You know, and he goes like this. He goes crumbs. That's all you're giving me, oh, crumbs. Crumbs, crumbs. And he goes, crumbs. he goes, you can have the lot for sixpence. He goes, thanks for much. <laughs> 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 I love all that oh, stuff, dear. you know. I'm gonna say stupid boy. Very good, Lala. Listen, I love you, and we will catch up later. And dinky do to you. Yeah, thank you. All right, my angel. Tickety boo, la la. See you now. There you go. There she goes to the telephones as quickly as possible. Oh one four one eight double one oh four seven five. Scotty McClure's Nightline, live on Nation Radio, just for you, dinky doo. If you've been ringing and ringing and ringing and redialing and redialing and redialing all night, you said I can't get through to Scotty McClure. Keep trying. We'll get you all on. Back to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone. In who's that? This is Joe. How are you, Scotty? Joe, dinky do. Lovely to hear from you. Dinky do to yourself, my friend. Well done for catching that name, uh, the good old Fred Dibna. Fred Dibna, yes. Did you, do you remember Fred? You struggled, you fell over yourself backwards did... trying to get that steeplejack. Oh, trying to get the steeplejack, Fred Dibna, and he was wonderful. He he, he would have climbed a, a, a chimney quicker than you could have remembered his oh, name, my son. Sh- Straight up there, absolutely. Right up to the top. I mean, just with a rope and his bonnet, you know? Uh, well, absolutely fearless. And uh, God help him. He said in his way, he'd be up there. Have the, the thing dismantled before you'd thought about how well, you'd Well, I'll tell it. you, I was trying to work out how he did it. And then I watched closely several times. And what he was doing was going to the base of the chimney knocking out some bricks, putting in a pit prop, big wooden pit prop, knocking out some more bricks, another big pit prop, then virtually the base was held up by wooden pit props. And then he would light a fire. Just a and piece of newspaper, so. a wee bit so of you, you, you've, you've petrol. Seen the, the, you, you've seen the, the documentary, and, seen it, and it makes a very yes. interesting watch. And if yes. you have any kind of smart kind of uh, mind, then you can can completely understand it. And, and what he then what he then did was get the chimney to fall exactly the right way. Yes, and, and he was and, only and doing it said, himself. Uh, there was nobody yeah, else there. He can walk. He can walk. He will slowly walk away from it, and he'll land exactly where he watches it. Ah, oh, he walks away. He had his own wee hooter just for effect. Boom, boom, and then he goes right. I better run, and then he would take off, and then the chimney came down just as you like, and then he goes, "Did you like that?" <laughs> I love it. What, what, what a gentleman! What a gentleman he was. Oh, lovely man! And, and I'll he, tell you, he, he loved he, the, the engineering side. You know, oh, the, the power of a steam engine and all that kind of oh. thing. Do you know what I used to love? It was his humility. He would go into a blacksmith's shop. Correct. Go, Correct. Now then, what are you making here? And the guy shows him right, and he goes, "Oh, can I have a go?" And of course, he does it perfectly. The, the, the thing is, the thing that you just said there, Scotty, is the humility. The humility. And then he got the yes. OBE and he took his traction engine to Buckingham the Palace. But it, you know, and, yeah. And yeah, he, parks, uh, yeah. He, parks, he parks up, I don't know, Birdcage Walk or the Chelsea Barracks or something like that. Um, and um, then he, uh, he gets himself across the road. He goes, right, I yeah, better get you, changed. You had the nail on the head when you said humility, <laughs> Scotty. Humility, that's what we like. Yes, Correct. I am, that is, and that I, is I a was absolutely word blessed because I got a father a like gentleman. that. He was an absolute gentleman, and I, uh, I, um, when I was in Manchester, people used to mistake me for Fred Dibner just because of the bonnet. Ah, <laughs> oh, right, right. Oh, uh, Scotty McClure. Sorry, I thought it was Fred Dibner there just when you were. T- I and they'd be but talking to you. And then they walked away from you. I that's I, they'll be talking to you at functions, <laughs> and uh, the other thing that I loved, um, he could explain everything to you, and he went down to one of the colleges at Cambridge. Do you remember? And and well, and well, he well, well, well I wouldn't. I, w- I wouldn't remember. You'll get many years on most of his Scotty. 
<laughs> not at all, not at all, Joe. But I mean, he, he climbed up to one of the Cambridge colleges, and he could tell you how everything was put together. Same with like um, you know, medieval houses. He'd go, "Nah, yeah, yeah, this well, is a nice bit of oak that's pegged in there." You see, it, 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 well, it's, well, it's pegged down there, and there's a tie, and there's a strut, and there's a brace there, and that's that holds it. that whole thing all together, that, or whatever, wonderful. you know. Ah, you don't want that to come away, or the whole lot will come down. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, right, right. What, what a brilliant guy. What a brilliant guy. Fred Dibner, absolutely. Now, there we go. Now, what were you going to say, Joe? Was that what you were talking about? Uh, uh, oh, the, the other thing, I'd spoke to you previously. I can't remember whether I had brought in... Uh, uh, someone had mentioned about the... the Paisley Canal railway station. I think mm. I may have mentioned to you. It was, you mentioned it, but it was previously. A, it was previously actually a canal. A canal, but apparently it was very shallow. Was it four foot or something like that? Something along those lines. And it wasn't and good enough to kind of join the main network. It was. It, it was before they had dredged the Clyde. Ah, right. So the boats couldn't bring... So they could only go to, to Port Glasgow. Glasgow. They could only go to Port so Glasgow. That, 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 yes, exactly. That's why you've right. got Port Glasgow. Yes, the Port of Glasgow because On you can get up the Clyde. Coast. Yes, very nice too. I know so it well. The, the whole idea of the what you would call the Paisley Canal line was originally a canal. Aha. Uh -huh. And Wonderful. that was initially thought to... Well, it was initially designed to go all the way down to Ardrossan. Ah, amazing. And connect to the shipping channels. Yes, the shipping the channels down there. Ardrossan yes. and the south-west coast. Yes, because there'd be huge shipping. The whole of the west of Scotland was shipping and engineering. Absolutely, Scotty. So, you see, and if uh, you go down to Port Glasgow, um, then that was where you had the lights of your rope works. And uh, if you go further in, I mean, Blacks, the tent people, were uh, sailmakers. Yeah. You know, so you had your ropes, your sails, and your boat builders. Ferguson at Port Glasgow, the Ferguson brothers, you know, and Cairds. Um, the guy that became the principal of Glasgow University, Principal Caird, and um, Scots and Lithgows and all these yards. Are, are, are some of them up for sale? Well, they've all gone now, except for uh, Ferguson's, really. Yeah, There's you, no you, you put up with the little joke within that, Scotty. Well, but, yes, uh, I got, yes, I got it up for sale. Very good. <laughs> Uh, so, so uh, as sale. I say, uh, we we got I think that. they ran out You're of money very to subtle. Try. You're very subtle. The, I think they ran out of money trying to to get the canal to get the canal through. Profitable. Yes. Well, yes. Well, this is the problem with canals. Same with the Crinan Canal. They had a real job getting that to be profitable, and of course, that's a wonderful seaway. Um, you know, between the well, between the two seaways. You know, is it is it because they cannot all see it? Can all see it very good, Seaways? <laughs> There's a wee bit of the comedian in you, you know? Uh, I, I think don't know what you're saying. <laughs> nothing, gets, nothing gets past you, Joe. Fantastic. No, nothing no, that gets is, past you, Scotty. That, 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 that's the thing. No, but that is lovely, Joe. That is very good to know that. Thank you for that information. So they actually used the canal bed for the railway. They, 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 they had to change its course ever so slightly, I believe, uh -huh. to... To get the because I, I couldn't understand it. As soon as somebody says that, that comes into Paisley Canal Street, it makes me think, where is the canal? You know what I mean, well, you, I, I think I think uh, the 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 line rejoined the the main what is now just the, the main air Glasgow part of the Glasgow South Western Railway line at uh, Eldersway or. That yeah, would probably have gone on down to Upper Greenock and Prince's so Pier, so Kilmacomb, yes. Because you used to be able to get a train to Kilmacomb. Yes, uh, the, the yes. forgotten railways. I know, I know. It's a, And Beeching, I mean, a Kilmacomb line lasted a lot longer, but Beeching 
did terrible, terrible, terrible damage to the infrastructure of the UK. You know, I'm going to have to go, Joe. I say good night. Yes, well, you do it to yourself, my friend. And dink you do to yourself, and thanks for joining us. Ladies and gentlemen, time flies when you're enjoying yourself. I can't believe it. Midnight is upon us. Um, what a fantastic show tonight. All I can say to every single one of you, listeners and callers, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, from the visit of the Big Switchboard, from me, Scotty McClue, join us at 10 o'clock sharp next week. Until then, have a great week. Good night, God bless, and dinky do. William, Pamela and Anthony were sold investments by banks and ended up losing money. Luckily, they contacted Goodwin Barrett and were able to claim back a total of £65,500. If you've lost money on an investment sold by a bank, even if you no longer have it or the paperwork, just text MONEY to 6677 to discover how much you could be owed. That's MONEY to 6677. You don't need a claims management company to make a complaint and if unsuccessful, you can refer it free to the financial ombudsman. Going on a no alcohol holiday. Drink free days for me and you. Drink less each week with no alcohol holidays. Down the pub in your home.